math first grade learners. Now we are going to do something different. We are going to do some something called sorting. We'll be learning again about our controlled vowels. When a vowel is followed by the letter R, the R makes the vowel change its name. That happens with all the vowels. A R R E R er, I R er, O R O R and U R er. The vowel is controlled by the letter R. For today, we're going to be really thinking about the R sound and using the word car, C A R to help us think about the R sound. Can you say car? Great. K R. The R sound is in there. We're also going to be thinking about the OR sound today, which is made by OR, like in the word fort. Can you say fort? Fort. Great. What we're going to be doing with our words today is we are going to sort. When you sort things, sort, look, it has an OR in there. You put things into groups by something that they have that's the same. So for the word sort, I would put that over here with fort because they both have the or sound and or in them. I'm going to say a word now and then we're going to compare the word I say with car or fort and you're going to tell me where I should put it. Now we are going to use our keywords to think about sorting. I'll say a word and we're going to compare that word to car and fort. The first word we're going to think about, whether it has R or OR for a sound in it, is the word storm. The weatherman said a storm might be coming. Storm, car or storm, fort. Which sound do you hear in the middle? Right. Storm and fort, because they both have the or sound in them. And look, they also both have the or in them. The next word that we're going to think about is the word farm. Can you say farm? The horse lives on the farm. Let's think about those sounds. R. Hmm. What sound do you hear in the middle here? Farm, car, or farm, fort? That's right, farm, car, because they both have the R sound in them. The next word we're going to think about is the word hard. The cement was very hard. Can you say hard? Great. Hard. Hard, car, or hard, fort? Right, hard and car. They both have the R sound and they both have AR in them. The next word that we're going to think about is the word more. I'd like more ice cream, please. More, mm or more car or more fort. Which sound? Right. More goes with fort because they both have the or sound in them and they have OR in them. The next word is torch. I lit a torch so I could see at night. Can you say torch? Great, let's do the sounds. T or sh torch. Hmm, torch car or torch fort. Right, torch goes with fort because they both have the or sound and they both have or in them. This is the last word and the last word we're going to sort today is the word bark. Can you say bark? B bark. Bark could mean the bark on a tree or it could mean the noise that your dog makes. Bark. B bark. Which one, bark car or bark fort? You've got it, bark and car, because they both have the R sound and they both have AR. You did a wonderful job. 
listening for your sounds and sorting them. Now we are going to take these words and we're going to write them. Okay, first grade learners, we are going to keep on the sorting, but you are going to need a piece of paper and something to write with. Any piece of paper and anything to write with. I'm going to give you 20 seconds. Ready, set, go. going and getting your supplies so we can do some sorting but this time instead of just thinking about the words and putting them into columns what we're going to do is write the words first let's review the words that we just sorted all of our AR words are under car let's read those words together are you ready car farm hard and park and they all have the AR sound and the AR pattern. Our next column has fort, storm, more, and torch. With your piece of paper and whatever you have to write with, you're going to make what's called a T-chart. I'm going to find the middle of my paper and draw a straight line down, as straight as I can make it. And then not quite at the top, but just a little bit down from the top, I'm going to do a line across. And I'm going to write my keyword car on the left side. C-A-R, car, I can find my A-R. And my keyword of fort, can you say fort? Great. On the right side, F-O-R, T, fort that has the OR. Now let's write our words that we've already sorted. Farm, if you can, try not to look at them when you write them. R, mm. I'm gonna write farm under car. That's A-R-M. And the A-R is for farm. The next word that we're going to write is hard. R, D. H A R D hard with A R. The last A R word that we're going to write is bark, like my dog likes to bark. B A R K bark. Car farm hard and bark. We all have A R in them. And AR is making the R sound because it's controlled by R. The next column is all the words that sound like the OR in fort. First word I want you to write is the word storm. St or m. Again, if you don't have to look, don't look. See if you can spell it without looking. S T O R M or. Next word is more, I'd like more ice cream. M or. This one's tricky. Two sounds, but there's four letters. And the last word we're going to write today is torch. Now, this one's interesting. Let's think about the sounds in torch. T or ch. There's five letters, but only three sounds that we hear. T. That's our letter T. Or. That's our OR. And the CH, the CH, making the CH sound together. Fort, storm, more, and torch. You did a great job sorting today. You did a wonderful job writing down your words that have the AR, R sound and the OR, OR sound because they're controlled by the letter R. As you go through the rest of the day, Think about if you can think of other words with AR and OR, or search around and see if you find more words around you and out and about that have the OR or the R sound. 
wonderful sorting and wonderful writing. Have a great day, first graders. This program is made possible in part by the Michigan Department of Education, the State of Michigan, and the W.K. Kellogg Foundation. Additional support by and by viewers like you. Thank you.